Alrighty. Well, let's hope we hit the lottery. We will. Well, I'm using a shovel and digging a big hole because we're going for charcoal and that's all we really care about. We're not destroying the integrity, archaeological integrity of this house because the hearth really doesn't have much. All, all it is is the hearth. So we're not, we're not, so it's not so bad that I'm using a shovel. <laughs> And we're sort of digging in the depression. Hopefully, hopefully we'll hit it. Hopefully we'll hit it right off the bat. I'm digging it bigger in case the car moves side. Oop, wanna... there's the heart. Oh, right. I think it was right here. Yeah. I'm gonna slice again. Sure. Any charcoal? Not yet. Oh no, there's charcoal. There is? Yeah. You already got it? Yeah, I already got some. So see how it has a little sheen to it compared to everything else that we see. So we want to collect about, um, it's going to sound bad, but about a cigarette box full is what we need for a date. So we need a, a wad of charcoal about this big to get a real good date. This is part of the hearth and then a, the rest of the hearth will be underneath my knees and then we'll expose a little bit more here. Yeah. There's a nice one. And another way that we know it's a hearth is that these are all fire cracked. <laughs> Lick it to just clean it off because that's the easiest way. And then with, two, with fire cracked rock, you'll have a, a red hue and then it'll turn the natural stone color on the inside. And then also normally fire cracked rock is also really brittle. So it's easily broken. You can normally break it with your fingernails. So well, the only way it's going to get fire cracked is it's going to be near a fire and somebody used it so it shows human use and the other thing too on Kodiak is once you see black soil that's a, that's normally an archaeological site um, because the only way the soil is going to get black is by charcoal there's very little to no soil development on Kodiak or it's very slow and the black soil sticks out really well Ooh. Yeah, now we're at the hearth what we look for when we're digging for charcoal is this the, the shiny black and then if it's a large enough piece, you can actually see the, uh, the ring structure of the wood itself. So, yeah, and I'll break it in half and you can see the ring structure. It's still getting stuff? Yeah, a little bit. Radiocarbon dating, they look at this charcoal here and they want to know how radioactive it is. There's a portion of all charcoal that is um, Radioactive is carbon-14. Carbon's normally carbon-12. And that carbon-14 breaks down at a known rate to carbon-12. So if this only has half the expected carbon-14, then it's like 7,000 years old. If it has like an eighth of it, it's like 300, 500 years old. So that's, that's how they do it. But you have to have enough charcoal to get the, um, to, to get enough of that radioactive for, if you use, standard gear whereas if you use really fine gear you need less less charcoal and it but it costs more <laughs> a lot more heathens yeah. using a shovel and but all we're looking for is charcoal i mean that we're not looking for features we're not looking for artifacts really we're just looking for charcoal and it's a single act we don't really have to worry about layers too much here because um this is it. We're in the house. We know, we know it's. We know what we're digging in. We're not looking. A lot of times, you find different layers in a site, and you have to take very tight control of which layer you're in, so that you know, you know, because you can have a, the bottom could be 3,000 years older than the top, and you don't want to be collecting charcoal from the wrong level. But we don't really have to worry about that because we know this is just a single house. I mean, there could be an older occupation, but I doubt it.